Robert and I are on a fall, a late September hike today. Gonna go check out all of the beautiful fall colors. It's a little bit beyond the aspens have lost their leaves. But all the willows and the maples are still got a lot of color on them. Anyway, we are going up Gru Canyon in the sublet range. We're going to go across the ridge line and come down Raymond Canyon after topping out on Raymond Peak. The maps call it Sublet Peak, but all the locals call it Raymond. So we've got one car staged at the other trailhead and we are just going to do a through hike here. Hope you enjoy. Okay, we are up the canyon here a little bit. This is where you get off of the private land. There's a public access across this private land. It goes into the wilderness study area at this point. I mentioned in a video a few weeks ago about some eagles that I saw. I was standing right here at this gate. They, it happened too fast for me to get video of them, but they were up in the sky up there circling and then they dive bombed down the canyon and they were so low over me, this little choke cherry bush here. One of them clipped a wing on this little choke cherry bush right here in front of me. That was a really neat experience. Boy, when you have a bald eagles fly over you that low, those are huge birds. These maples are just a brilliant color. I don't know that the camera is keeping track if it's able to catch that brilliant colors, but sure is fun. We've had our pack goats up this canyon a few times, and it seems like every time, for some reason, there's a little stick here that the deer had gotten into, and every time we come up here, the pack goats have got to rub on that same little stick. It's kind of funny, they seem to remember it and find it every time. I'd have brought them with us on this trip, but I don't think they're conditioned well enough to do such a big through hike. Next summer we'll have them up here more. This is a real unique feature. This rock here. It's just a thin wall of rock that comes down. On both sides. You can follow this point of rock all the way north into the Raymond Canyon. When you get into the Raymond Canyon, probably, I don't know, as the crow flies, maybe six miles from here, it's a lot more impressive. I'll take some photo of it on the other side, but I'm pretty sure the way things look, it just follows along this whole ridge. Not up on top of the ridge, but it's part way down the mountain range and follows into that next canyon. I'd like to know more about geology than I do. It would be interesting to figure out the formation, how it formed. Well, we just hit the main ridge about two and a half miles in from the trailhead and it's just over 2,000 feet of elevation gain in that. That's where we came from. 
we are looking down there, the, down in the bottom there is the Bear River. If you look way, way off to the south, I doubt whether the camera is picking it up, picking it up. But I think I can see in my bare eyes beyond those last mountains. There's some really faint mountains way beyond there, and that would be the Uinta Mountains. So, and then we come down here on the east side of this mountain range. That would be the Smith's Fork of the Bear River. Don't know if you can see it. There's a building down there. Somewhere down in there is where that ranch is. I've got an old video of feeding cattle in the winter. One of my friends still feeds these cattle with a team of horses and a bobsled, and I've got some video of that from last winter. That would be right down there on the Smith's Fork. So from here we go on up the ridge. Actually the trail from here cuts around on this east side, goes through the trees and then comes out on the ridge further north. And then we've got, I don't know, two or three miles to get to the high point of this range, be Raymond Peak. I love hiking this time of year. For one main reason, in the spring when you get back in this timber like this, the dang mosquitoes will carry you away. When you do it in the fall, there's no mosquitoes to bother you. So that's sure nice. This is a pretty prominent trail. Cuts off around the east side of that point. And then from there, you get back out on the ridge, and the ridge, there's a lot of timber in places. It's been so many years since there was any trail maintenance. The trail is pretty much gone from there on out. And all of the down trees used to be, I think, a pretty good trail across this whole ridge, but last year when we was up here, there's just not much left of the trail beyond this cut that comes over on the east side. We'll see, I've seen a little sign here that they've had some horses into here. Somebody has this year, so maybe somebody's gone and cleared trail. That would be nice. Somebody has done some trail maintenance through here. Yeah, that's real recent. We'll have to see if they've done it all the way up to the top of Raymond. That would be nice. Something real interesting about this sublet range, speaking of geology, the whole ridge line for quite a few miles here, you can see is made up from river, river rubble. And then down on both sides of the range, you have a lot of shell and limestone kind of hard to figure out how all that river rubble ended up right on the ridge line. 
but that's the way it is across the whole range here. Something interesting here, looking down into the valley, off straight out across the valley is the Thomas, or it's not, as the Thomas Fork of the Bear River, and then off to the left is the Bear River itself, and you can see right where the road goes across there where they come together, but this is the first glimpse right there in the middle of the screen is the homestead that's where we live this is what we these mountains is what we can see out our front porch you can see the stacks of hay across the road from where the homestead is and there's a better view of it from higher when we get up on top of Raymond but that's where we're at So we've been going probably a half or three quarters of a mile through all this heavy timber along the ridge. And boy, thank you, thank you, whoever it was that did some trail clearing here. Last year, there hadn't been any maintenance done on it for years and years. And boy, it was rough to get through all them deadfalls. It's just been a breeze so far on this trip. Some of the aspen still got the color up in the tops of them. A lot of them have lost their color. It's all down here on the ground. It's almost as pretty when it's laying on the ground as it is up in the trees. Right here is the final ascent up to the top of Raymond Peak. I think that's 9,300 feet up here. Don't quote me on that. It's over nine. I think 93 something if I remember right. Okay, there is the survey here on top, and there's a little can here for a registry to sign in that you made it to the top. Looking north east there is the Wyoming range. Those far mountains would be east of Star Valley, Wyoming, a little bit. Down in here to the west would be the J. 
Geneva or Raymond Valley. Lots of farming down in there. And then just to the top corner, right there in the middle of the screen, of the top corner of that real green spot there, that's my homestead. And that's the Bear River you can see in the background. That's where we came from to get on top. And then from here, after we get some lunch, we'll go off straight north here and then drop off to the east down a real steep ridge. We go all the way down to the east and then drops into a steep canyon and then it finally drops out into Raymond Creek and then we come back west on Raymond Creek back into the Geneva Valley. So this is going down off the east side, northeast side of Raymond. Raymond Peak would be up there, top uh, above those trees, the highest trees you see, see there. And this is where it gets really steep. I'm sure the camera doesn't show you how steep it is. Lots of pretty colors down in there, but anyway, straight down from here, you go down kind of a ridge type thing a little bit, turns into a ridge and there's a saddle right in the bottom there. You don't have to go to the top of that next mountain there. You just get into that saddle and then cut off to the north and go down the bottom of that canyon. You can see that treed canyon down the bottom there. That drops you into Raymond. So beyond there, looking north here, that's the north fork of Raymond. And then the south fork of Raymond goes up all the way up there so pretty much this range, most of this range, all of the water, both sides of it, end up in our valley there in the Geneva Valley. And then that ridge line that you can see there that goes down there, that's what the local calls locals call the speedway. And then the next ridge line. I don't know if you can see them. You can see some towers up there. Radio towers or some, some odd thing. This is sure an anomaly I ran across a few years ago. I sure wish I knew the history. You can see we are right in here on a really, really, really steep ridge and there's a bunch of tree stumps here from years gone by. Sure is an anomaly. I can't figure out what in the world. There's several of them in here and out on this old dry ridge they couldn't have been real good quality timber. There's no way there was equipment in here and the trees are gone. They've been cut down and gone. I don't know how you would have gotten them out of here or why you would have come clear up here to get timber. You can see that one's been cut off straight. And that one. There's another old stump. So this goes back years and years, I'm sure. There's a stump that's fallen over that's been cut off. I sure wish I knew what was going on here and how they got the timber out of here. Maybe a team of horses, but why you would come all the way up to here after it, I have no idea. Okay, we made it down into the bottom. This is Raymond Creek down here. 
that's the North Fork, and then that's the South Fork where they two come in, and then going on out here is Raymond. It used to be an old road back in here, the old timers put into here, but it's blocked off now. But just good, easy trails from here on out, and it's not steep at all. So we are in the bottom of Raymond Canyon, probably a quarter mile from the trailhead. And from what I had told you going up Gru Canyon, that ribbon of rock that was poking out of the ground, I'm assuming that this is the same formation here as that, because you can see this same ribbon of rock going in a few places between here and there. So I'm assuming that this is the same deal. This kind of creates a gate here into Raymond Canyon. This is a lot more impressive on this side. I'll walk up here and show you the other side of it. Starts there. And it comes around, and then there it is on the other side. Just a great big wall. And you can see the same thing up through them trees on the other side of the creek. Made it back to the homestead. Just wanted to show you from the perspective down here in the valley. That is the canyon we went up, Drew Canyon. We went across that whole ridge. Right there, that high place in the background is where you could first see the homestead. All the way across there. Right there is Raymond Peak. That's the high point where we ate our lunch. We've been here five years and that was my sixth time on top. So I'm still one ahead for doing it every year. And then... It's hard to tell. Oh, that's it right there. Raymond Canyon comes out right over there. Thanks for watching.